Hello and welcome. I am Lisa, the queen of support here at Post Point of Sale. And today I'm going to give you a quick demo on the gift card feature. So to set up your gift cards, you're going to want to log into your Post Management System. You're going to want to click the Customers tab and you're going to want to click Gift Cards. Now you have several options here. The first one is allowing the gift card to be valid for and you can select amount of time that you would like your gift cards to be valid for. You can enable custom values. This is a really great feature to enable because it allows you to allow the customer to choose any amount they want for the gift card. So for example, here on the right hand side of the screen, you have the option to set some presets and give a discount on those presets. But let's say a customer comes in and they want to get a gift card for $65. That's not available in your presets. By enabling custom values, you will be able to give the customer the option to add whatever value they want on that gift card. You can add a custom tax on the gift card and you can also enable the gift card to be used for store credit. This is also a great feature to be enabled so that instead of giving cash back, you can actually give store credit onto the gift card. At the bottom here, you do have the option to order gift cards from one of our reputable suppliers, eCard Systems. We have been working with them for quite some time now and they are familiar with the magnetic strip and the barcode that we use. So now that you've got all of your gift cards set up, we're gonna to go to the cash register and I'm gonna show you here in the cash register how to ring up a gift card and how to check out with a gift card. All right, so a customer comes in and they wanna purchase a gift card. So at the bottom of the screen here, you're gonna to wanna to click gift card and you're gonna to wanna to swipe or scan the gift card number. So for this example, I'm going to just manually add a gift card and I'm going to click next and I'm going to add an amount of $65 and I'm going to click add funds. So now the gift card is here in the checkout. So I'm going to go ahead and check out. So go ahead and click checkout and the customer is paying for this gift card with cash. So I'm gonna click the cash button and they've actually given me $70 in cash. So I'm gonna use the quick key feature to select 70. You'll see it changes here. And at this time, I don't need to assign a customer to the sale, but I am gonna go ahead and click charge and print. And this will show me a breakdown. This is what the receipt printer will print out. You can go ahead and click print here. In my situation here, I have saved, but I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel, but you would wanna click print. All right, now let's say a customer comes in and they want to purchase something with a gift card. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a couple of items to the checkout. We're gonna add some cookies here. Okay, and we're gonna click and add a customer to the checkout. So it's Kathleen is the first customer on our list and she's actually the one that's come to buy these cookies. So we're gonna add her to the checkout. So Kathleen's name now appears here in the top left hand corner. And we're gonna go ahead and click checkout here. And we're gonna assign me to the sale since I was the one that sold these cookies to her. And we're gonna use that gift card that she has. So you go ahead and swipe or scan the gift card. Click next here. And you see here the gift card balance is $65 and, and Kathleen is only spending $9.65. So we're gonna go ahead and click charge and print. In my case, I'm actually gonna click charge and no receipt just to save some time here. All right, so now that is over. Now if you go to the customers tab and you open up Kathleen and you click on the package here, which is actually the rewards program, you will see that the gift card that Kathleen just used is now here and available on her customer card. So for example, if Kathleen were to come back in and say, listen, I have a gift card, but I don't have it with me, but I have used it previously, you can actually go to Kathleen's information here and click on the rewards icon and you can open up this gift card feature and see the card number and the balance and the expi expiry date on the gift card. So this is a great way to keep your customers coming back by allowing them to not have to worry about holding on to gift cards. Now if you want to check the gift card reports, you can do that as well by going to the management system. 
you can click reports and there is a specific report for gift cards. So you click reports, you click gift cards, and you can see that you have here a drop down where you can select outstanding and you can select the date range of all the gift cards you have available, the sum of outstanding gift cards, and the number of outstanding gift cards. So we have 12 gift cards that are still outstanding that people can use. So here at the bottom, you can export this into an Excel format. This is great for your accountant if you need. If the gift card has already been used and it's been assigned to the customer, the customer's name will appear here. For example, we have Kathleen Adams here. This is the gift card we just used. The issue date was March 22nd, 2017, which is today. And the expiry date is March 22nd, 2018, which is a year from today. You can see when she last used the gift card, the gift card number, and the balance. So like I said, this is a great feature for your customers to keep them coming back because they do not have to physically be holding onto that gift card. They can come in. If they don't have the gift card on file, you can look it up under their customer name, or if they haven't used the gift card yet, but they know the gift card number, you can actually go into the reports and look it up. So that's basically the gift card feature. If you have any other questions, we are available at support at getpose.com and feel free to email us anytime.